there, Linda Goodall here. Hatch has the ability to display fabrics in an applique, and it comes with a wide range of pre-made fabrics you can use, but sometimes you have something particular in mind and it just isn't included. First of all, let's see how to apply a fabric background to an applique. So here's this little applique fish, and this was created in Hatch, and I do have an applique object. Applique objects have special properties, and one of those is the ability to apply a color or a fabric. Machine file applique designs just won't have this attribute. So with it selected, I'll go to the applique tab on the object properties and click on fabric applique. And the fun stuff is under this custom button. And if I click browse, it will take me to my fabrics folder. Let's go up a level. And these two folders are the ones that come with Hatch. I've added this one. So if I double click on Better Text, I can scroll down and I can just pick a folder, let's say Fossil Fern, and then I can preview color swatches and pick one. And if that's the one I want, I can say OK. And sometimes you may have to toggle the screen so it'll redraw. So I'm going to do minus and then plus, and there it is. See this line? This is just where it's tiling that fabric swatch. We'll talk more about tiling towards the end. So what if you want to add your own? Let's go to the design library. And I'm going to go to pictures, public pictures, and then fabrics. And down here is where I've added a folder. So I've just added this folder and it has some swatches in it, but let's add one. So I know that I have some on my desktop and I'll go to this folder called Fabrics. And by the way, I have selected all artwork files up here. So if you still have machine files selected, you won't see anything. So be sure and select all artwork files. And let's just add this one. So I'll select it and copy it to my folder. If I go back to my folder, there it is. Now I'll go back to my design. Oops, got to select my applique first. Go to applique fabric, browse, go up here to fabrics, go to my folder, and there's my new swatch. Click OK, toggle my screen, and now he's polka dotted. Now the cool thing is, I did not have to restart Hatch after applying this. See where my little pattern is off? I didn't crop this very well. So I didn't get it cropped to where it would tile perfectly. So that's one of the tricks you gotta do if you're making your own fabric swatches or just make your fabric swatches really big. So now that you've seen how easy that is, you might be wondering, where do I get fabrics? Well, you could create them in a graphics program. You can scan fabrics from your stash. You might be able to grab some from Google. You can even use scrapbooking papers. So you'll probably need a graphics program to crop out a swatch that can be used as a repeat or a tile and then save it out as a 72 DPI JPEG format. If you have other programs that use fabric swatches in a graphics format, I think you can also use PNG and maybe BMP. JPEG is a pretty standard format and it's widely available. If the, those other programs have a graphics format like that or one that can be converted to one of those, they're easy to copy and move in. But not all programs that use fabrics will have them in a graphics format and they may be in some kind of special format that can't be really used. But that's just how easy it is to customize Hatch for you. Please like this video, please subscribe, and please make a comment. It helps me decide what videos to make. This one was made because someone asked a question in one of the Hatch groups I'm in.